Hello YouTube fans and welcome to episode 16 of Double Down with Double A. Of course, I am your host, Double A, along with the Renegade Wrestling, JJ Williams. And this is our Royal Rumble Prediction Show. That's right, we're here to give you our thoughts about what the outcomes of the proposed matches for the Royal Rumble pay-per-view will be tomorrow. Okay, in the pre-match, in the pre-show match, we have for the United States Heavyweight Championship, Antonio Cesaro champion, being challenged by the awesome one himself, The, the Miz. Miz. Because he is The Miz, and he is awesome. Huh. <sighs> I'm looking at this, and being that The Miz is already a two-time, two three-time, two-time, I believe, two-time U.S. champion and former heavyweight champion, mm -hmm. it would make him no make no sense for him to get the U.S. title now. I disagree, because The Miz really made himself when he was the U.S. champion. He's like, that was his launching pad. He won the U.S. title, the tag title, and the WWE title all within a year. So, I think the United States Championship would possibly help elevate the Miz back to that main event status that is being dominated right now by, you know, Punk, Cena, Ryback, Rock when he shows up, Brock when he shows up, Big Show, Sheamus, Orton... There's no, really no place in the main event picture for him right now. This could give him an opportunity to be featured prominently while not being in the main event picture. Touche. Touche. Okay, I'll give you that one. And Antonio Cesaro has been running around saying <coughs> that no American can beat him. It sucks that it's going to be on pre-show, just like it sucks when Antonio won it on pre-show. But... I think The Miz just might take it. I'm going for The Miz. You're going for The Miz, I know it. Um, next, we have in for the... Who are you picking? I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that one. That's why, that's why I said the okay. touche thing. You know. you know. I just wanted to make sure you made it official so that people weren't like... Yeah. What the hell? He didn't say who he wanted. Because uh, you fans are nitpickers. You'll do that. Oh, yes, they are. They really are. Um, for the Tag Team Championship, yes, the, that will press penny thing, we got Team, okay, we got the Challengers, Team Road Scholars, Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow, yes, <clears throat> versus Team Hell No, The Big Red Machine, and Daniel Bryan, or D. Bryan. Team Hell No has held the belts for way too long, I think. I think they need to just go ahead, self-destruct, maybe build towards a WrestleMania match, Kane versus Bryan, and give the belts to Team Road Scholars, who could definitely use the straps and the push. I'm calling, once again, for new champions, Team Road Scholars. I'm kind of torn on this one, to tell you the truth, because... The Team Hell No gimmick is kind of grown on me within recent weeks. But think about how long it took to grow. True, true. I, I, I don't doubt that, but, you know, the whole gimmick, you know, the, when, when, it first, when it first started, it was just like, okay, yeah, this is lame. I am the Tag Team Champion. No, I am the tag team champions. The where they're constantly arguing, this whole thing just grew on me. Now it's like when they get over, it's like, yes, cool, they they got it over again. And now I'm like, eh, move on. <clears throat> you know. And now that they finally gel together, it's like, okay, yeah, they have to. A person, I think they should have a longer run, at least to Mania or Elimination Chamber. Then drop to Team Road Scholars. Well, the Royal Rumble is where it all begins. The road to WrestleMania begins. So if they're going to build a kane Bryan match for Mania, then they've got to drop the belts, I think, here. <coughs> so, yeah, 
I, we agree to disagree on, you know, on that one. Okay. So you're going for Team Hell No to retain, and I'm going for Road Scholars and the yeah. Chips. Um, on this one, we got for the World Heavyweight Championship, mm -hmm. which, well, it's not WrestleMania, so it's not going to curtain jerk. Um, you never know. That's never know. very, very, very true. For the World Heavyweight Championship, you have the challenger. The Big Show, Paul White, versus Alberto Del Rio. But you, you already, know. you already know that. It is his destiny to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, it is. In the last man standing match. However, you're going to hear, I'm here to show the world. I'm here to show the world. He's going to cash in. That's when he's going to get win, win his title. Or he could be the second person to unsuccessfully cash in his championship, then enter himself in the Royal Rumble and win it. See, I don't think he's going to cash in here to win the title because he's already announced for the Rumble match. And you're not going to have, you know, the World Heavyweight Champion compete in the Royal Rumble. That's silly. That hasn't been done since before title shots and many were on the line. So, I see Dolph cashing in at the soonest at No Way Out slash Elimination Chamber after the grueling chamber match a la Edge did for his first title which is why which is why I said he'll be the second person I don't think he'll lose either I don't think he'll cash in and lose they've been building him way too solidly the fans are into him they really are I don't think they're gonna job him out like they did Cena Cena didn't need to cash in the briefcase and win He's already probably going to take the strap in Mania. But then again, he's, you know, Vince has done dumber shit. This is also true. This Vince has done true. dumber shit. He put, he put, he has Edge win the Royal Rumble to challenge, to challenge Jericho just to job out. True, true. And if you want to know about more of Vince's dumb shit, go back a couple episodes and watch the worst gimmicks episode we did. Thank you. <sighs> All right, but I, for this match, for the World Heavyweight Title match, I'm going for Alberto to retain. Because whether Dolph cashes in or doesn't cash in, that's not a factor in the last man standing match. I'm going for Alberto to retain. <coughs> Next on the card, we have for the WWE Heavyweight Championship challenger, the most electrifying man. The Brahma Bull, the People's Champ. What? Wrong gimmick. Sorry. The eyebrow raising, the trail blazing. Pie eating, jabroni beating, son of a gun. Get it right. Hashtag stop boy approved. Thank you. I I was getting there. I just got a little time tied. All right. But anyways, The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's going to step back in the ring just one more time and challenge, and challenge the WWE Heavyweight Champion, the Straight Edge Savior, C.M. Punk, with Twinkie Tits in this corner. Twinkie Tits. Would you rather it can't be Twinkie Tits because Hostess went out of business. Okay, Cookie Puss. Paul Heyman. <coughs> even, though, even though I'm rocking the Punk shirt, and I support Punk, and I want Punk to overcome the odds and defeat The Rock, do something that Cena couldn't do, I've got a really, really bad feeling in my gut. No, it's not indigestion. No, it's not the fact that I haven't eaten yet today. But I've got a really bad feeling in my gut 
that The Rock is going to become WWE Champion because there was a leaked press release saying that the main event of Mania was going to be Rock Cena for the title, which would mean Cena would probably win the Rumble and Rocky would take the strap off of Punk. Hence, a rematch from last year's WrestleMania. Twice in a lifetime! Um, you know what? I completely agree with that. I've stated before, and I stated again, that, you know, I would like to see The Rock win the, win the match at Rumble, just for him to take it to Mania and have either Cena or Ryback win the Rumble and challenge The Rock. And at the same time, the Brock, the Brock Lesnar could come back and challenge The Rock once again at WrestleMania. <coughs> and The Rock can possibly get his uh, get get his rematch from what what year was that? 2002. So there you go. There we have there we have it on that. Uh, I don't want it to be Ryback. He's the only one that I'm like, hands down, no. No. Rybotch, Ryberg, whatever you want to call him. Skip Sheffield. Corvette Meathead. He fucking blows. I agree. And, and I know that there's some smart fans out there that are going to agree with me on this. So please, 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 let me know that you support me with this in the comment box down here. But I, any Mark wearing a Ryback shirt needs to just get their it. WWE card revoked. Seriously. You know what? I, I completely agree with you, but I still think it would be... I still think it's senseless for Vince to push him so hard. Just to be like, yeah, yeah, fuck you. They've done it before, though, just like you said earlier. They've pushed people to the moon. And then done nothing with them. Look at what they're doing with Kofi. They pushed the shit out of him for a while. Shelton Benjamin beat Triple H in his Raw debut. Then beat him again the next week. Then beat Ric Flair. Too sure. Nothing. Too Carlito. Sure. You know, they had teaming with Ric Flair. And he couldn't even get on a WrestleMania card. Teaming with Flair. Touche. <coughs> it all comes down to whose cock you suck in the backstage area. Damn. And right back obviously is good. In fact, I don't know, did you see this? There was a thing going around on the groups that I'm in. I think I shared it. Somebody actually typed in on www.com search mm -hmm. the diva that slept with everyone and it brought up Kelly Kelly's page. I shit it. you not, because I tried it myself. I tried it myself. What the? What the hell? You gotta show. You gotta show that to me. Not now, but. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do it while you're <coughs> talking about the next match. Okay, the next match we have the match itself, the main event in. And the winner of this match gets a challenge of heavyweight champion of his choice from either SmackDown or Raw. <clears throat> on the Raw, on the on the Raw roster so far that's announced, we have um, you have John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, the three man band, Heath Slater, Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, and Drew McIntyre. Along with The Miz, Ryback, Kofi King, Kingston, Team Hell No, Kane and Daniel Bryan, and on this SmackDown roster, you have nine and outs. You have the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Mm -hmm. You have the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. The U.S. Heavyweight Champion, who may, who may have probably have dropped it by now. Antonio Cesaro. You have the bare knuckles champion, or you know bare knuckle fighter, Wade Barrett. 
you have the primetime players, Dragon Ball Z, I mean, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, along with Team Road Scholars, Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow, the great and the great Colleen. Mm -hmm. And but we don't know what's going. This is you know this is a tape before that actually happens. But at the fan fest we have a NXT tor tournament, you know, to be held. And in this match, you have and whoever wins this tournament, his name is going to be entered into the Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. And you have Corey Graves, Oliver Gray, Luke Harper. Xavier Woods, Connor O'Brien. Connor O'Brien, really? Mm -hmm. Is he like? Please, please don't tell me he's like taking on this whole Conan O'Brien. I don't know. <laughs> Adrian Neville, Bo Dallas, and Lou Kruger. The winner of this tournament gets a spot in the Royal Rumble. <coughs> First time, first time ever. That's very unheard of. You know, where somebody from the farm club would get an opportunity to actually be, you know, presented in the Royal Rumble. Um, since I don't know any name of these names, I'm not gonna make a prediction. So I'll let, I'll leave that one up to you. As far as the NXT thing, I think it's gonna come down to four guys. Consequences, Creed. A.K.A. Xavier Woods, mm -hmm. who was on TNA for a while, member of the Lethal Consequences tag team with Jay Lethal. Um, let me see here. It's going to be him, Adrian Neville, who wrestled for Dragon Gate and Pro Wrestling Gorilla as Pac, the man the, man, the man that gravity forgot. Bo Dallas, A.K.A. IRS's son, and Leo Kruger. Those are the four, I think, have the strongest chance. And considering that I saw Bo at the house show team with Rey Mysterio, if he's already on the road with them doing house shows, I gotta say that he's the odds on favorite to win. Okay. As far as the match itself, do you know of any uh, spoiler surprises that might show up? No. I've heard some rumors. Shelton Benjamin has been rumored to have been back in talks and Gold possibly Standard, signed nice. with WWE. Same with MVP. The two of them were tag teaming together over in Japan. So they may be being brought to help rejuvenate the tag division. Um, then you've always got Brock Lesnar. You've got The Undertaker. You've got Triple H. All could be possibilities. Hell, I'd like to see Keem come in. And after his heart attack last year... I think the fans would pop hardcore to hear that music hit over the PA and have him come from behind the announce the table, climb into the ring. Even if he got eliminated right away or, you know, only helped with like that big group elimination of like the Great Collie or somebody like that. Just to say that he was in there for a minute and eliminated somebody, I think it would be a big deal. Well, that. that wouldn't that wouldn't surprise me. Last year they used all three of the announcers. King, Booker T, and Michael Cole got in the ring and if I remember correctly, it took Michael Cole pretty much the entire time he had to get in the ring to get undressed. He he got in the ring with just enough time before they started the countdown again. And that was pretty sad and he get Comes in and gets annihilated by Awesome Kong. That was awesome. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. As far as my overall prediction to win the Rumble, <laughs> it sucks, but it's going to come down to four guys. <coughs> and I'm sure you can look at the already announced field and predict who those four are. Cena, Orton, Sheamus, and either Ryback or Ziggler. Ooh. More realistically, Ryback. With Ziggler already having the briefcase, they're probably not going to uh, do my booking idea <clears throat> and have him win the Rumble, too. 
thereby guaranteeing his shot at Mania, and then he can cash in the briefcase at No Way Out to become World Heavyweight Champion and unify the titles. Would that be too late by then? He's got the briefcase until July. Because he won it at Money in the Bank last year. That's right, that's right. And Money in the I Bank isn't that. at Mania anymore. It's no. not its own standalone pay-per-view. I forgot about so that. So if he cashes in the briefcase at No Way Out, becomes the World Heavyweight title, then uses his Rumble opportunity at Mania for the WWE title, and unify those two straps. Um, since it's a super show, it'd be senseless for us to have two champions anyway. And I, and I agree with that. And they've been doing a super show for God knows how long. Um, I agree with those uh, final four that you mentioned. But, sadly, C Nation fans are good. The C Nation is going to be going crazy uh, tomorrow night. It's going to go to Cena so that they can go towards Rock Cena. That's why Rock's going to take the strap. I don't like it. It was supposed to be once in a lifetime. They even made a fucking DVD set chronicling it. And now they're going to... They did such great business. The match was so over. They made so much money on the DVDs that they're going to do it twice in a lifetime. I, you know, yeah, I know. It's going to suck. You know, what I would like to... What I liked... Another good possibility they, that could have happened. Hell. You said it. Punk can drop to the rock. Enter himself in the Royal Rumble and win it. Then challenge the Rock again for for WrestleMania. So that way he can get his main event spot at WrestleMania that he's been bitching about for the past year and a half. And that's all the more reason why Punk shouldn't drop to the Rock is because he deserves that main event spot. But we know he's gonna drop to the title drop the title anyway. I know. You know, it's a good build up for it's a good build up for a storyline. The only way I could see Punk still getting the main event spot is if they turn it into a triple threat. Because the former champion gets his rematch clause. True. And if he decides to cash his rematch clause in, in Mania then it becomes a triple threat, Rock Punk Cena. However, Punk deserves his deserves an unshared spotlight at Mania. He, he totally does, but WWE is still sleeping on him for whatever reason. You know, person I think should be, you know, just just that, but, you know. Um, I hope they add something else into this pay-per-view event because four matches for $40, $50 is a crock of bullshit. I totally agree. They should do the finals of the NXT tournament on the pay-per-view, or at the very least put that on the pre-show. Put the fucking U.S. title match on the main card. You've got the Divas title not being defended. You've got the IC title not being defended. But again, this isn't Night of Champions, so all belts won't be on the line. But Caitlyn just had a fantastic match with Tamina at the house show we were at. You know, you throw that in there. Hey, maybe they can do. Maybe can. It doesn't even have to be a title match. They could just throw in. Yeah, throw a match. You know, um, do a divas Royal Rumble match where the winner gets to be the number one contender for the divas title. Let's do like a divas battle royal with all ten of their divas or whatever. It's the Royal Rumble pay per view anyway. Let the divas have their spotlight with the battle royal. That that would be innovative. You know, you know. that's never happened at the Rumble Rumble either. Um, yeah, that, that, that would be pretty good. That's about it for right now, and as always, I am your host, Double A, along with the Renegade of Wrestling, J.J. Williams, and this was Double Down with Double A, and deuces.